Welcome to Introductory Microeconomics. My name is Derek Baker and I'm the instructor on this unit. For many of you this will be a welcome to economics per se because it's the, it's the first course and the fundamental microeconomics course um, in, in many of the programs at UNE. I'd like to take you through a few of the elements that we'll be encountering in this course and I'll start off with saying a bit about what economics actually is. Economics is, is a science associated with decision making. To, to inform those decisions, economics comes up with a number of concepts such as efficiency, profitability and welfare economics that guide us towards the best possible decisions from the point of view of resource use and from the point of view of what's acceptable to society. As a fundamental concept, economics recognises that for every decision that is made, there are some opportunities that are foregone. This is what we refer to as, as opportunity cost. At the firm's level, a firm that spends a great deal of money on um, information technology or new machines cannot then spend those same resources on uh, staff development and training. At the national level, money spent on building roads and bridges cannot be spent on healthcare. At a global level, money spent on fighting infectious diseases can't be spent on combating climate change. In reality, the decisions of economic actors are made in markets. The function of a market is to determine the price the price that a transaction occurs at. Those prices are the fundamental signals for all decision making. We look at different kinds of market in this unit. We start off with a rather theoretical case of perfectly competitive markets. We follow it all the way through to another theoretical case of, of monopoly. What we observe is that the real world takes place within, those two, within the confines of those two examples. And we look at a number of cases of that. We recognize that those markets provide different kinds of signals and the actions of government can vary according to what those signals are and what the kinds of what the results we get are. We spend a lot of time working on markets and in particular we look at supply and demand. Demand is the response of consumers to prices. Supply is the response of businesses to prices. We look at how responsive those businesses and individuals are through the concepts of elasticity. By specifying elasticity, we can understand a lot about what would happen if market conditions change and what would happen to prices and quantities in that case. Moving beyond elasticities, we look into how, how markets actually reflect issues like comparative advantage. Our study of markets continues into the concept of market failure. This is to say that sometimes a market result, that is when people respond to a price and produce a certain amount or consume a certain amount, the, response, the responses don't give us a result that is efficient or possibly a result that is simply unacceptable to society. For example, some production processes despoil the environment and create pollution. Other, other production and marketing decisions result in people becoming unemployed or perhaps too much disadvantage being heaped upon the poor. Because of these kinds of outcomes, we recognise the concept of market failure. And we expect government to respond to market failure by intervening in the market in various ways. For example, the consequence of a subsidy can be very different from that of a, of a, of a tax. Um, in another context, um, banning a product is very often the worst way to make sure it's eliminated from the market. So we look at a lot of those different government uh, responses to market failure, and that forms the policy content of the course. Let me finish by saying that this is a course that provides the fundamentals for a lot of what you'll what you will study in business, in economics, and in a lot of the natural sciences where you're interfacing with the decision-making process. Welcome to this course, and I look forward to working with you on it.